And cut it with yellow, white. Live from Atlanta, Georgia New Jack Thriller City, man And today, man, we got the super legends in here, man Candy coated raindrops, man You know, I just found out today they was brothers Man, y'all give it up for the group They call So For Real uh -huh. What up, what up, what What's up What's happening? What's happening, what's happening? What's going on, y'all? Let's go with it Man, I'm, I'm really excited to have y'all here, man. So many different reasons and stuff. You know, y'all just came up off of Wildin' Out. That's right. Wildin', Wildin', Wildin'. Hey. 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 Yeah, thanks for having me. Thanks for having me. I'm excited to be yeah, here. Yeah. I'm excited to be here. The whole Wildin' Out crew. Yo, mm -hmm. like, yo, tell me about the experience going on the show, though, man. Like, you get the call that you're going on. What are you thinking inside of your head? Man, that shit was, uh, man, first was like, I get to dap. Nick Cannon for the first time meet him. Oh, that was the first time y'all ever met? That was the first time I got to dap him and show him love. But um, I fuck with him. The experience, though, once we got on the set, that was what, that was like one of the most truest experiences. And just just DJ Rec, meeting DJ Rec, and just how the family <laughs> was with the yeah, whole thing. It was, was just, just it, was, it was whole... It, Man, it was an experience that I'll never forget. I love that I was going to mention that. that. The it's family crazy, crazy orientation. Nostalgic it's crazy. feeling. You know what I mean? Just, you know what I mean? As far as, because if you notice the, the performance or just our vibe, I can't even call it a performance. We just vibed in the audience and the, the, the cast and everybody. It was just, it was just um, it was lit. magic. Yeah. It was, it was lit. That set was crazy, right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That set was nuts. Man, I was so mad I wasn't on that episode, man. Yeah, where was you at? Exactly. Man, I was I definitely you. looking for you. Yeah, you know man. I was on. <laughs> I, I think I was on the road at the time. Gotcha, gotcha. Yeah, yeah. I was, I was on the road at the well, time. Well, you was man. missed, brother. Yeah, and Jace told me that y'all was going on. Mm -hmm. And uh, yeah, that, that was. I, I missed y'all episode. I missed the Anthony Hamilton episode. Uh -huh. Yeah, and I had just blazed Anthony Hamilton, too. Oh, right. <laughs> on on, uh, on Versus. You know, I was all hosting Versus. <laughs> Okay, okay. <laughs> yeah, with him and Music Soul Child and stuff. Gotcha. Yeah, yeah. So I was like, yo, okay, now he at my house. And yeah. Yeah, I was like, damn, I ain't on this episode. Right. And then when y'all was on there, you know, I was talking to Jace afterwards. Jace was like, man, I wish we could do it again. I was like, we I already can know do what it, it is. again, though, can't we? Huh? Can't we go back? We can't go. Of we can't course. Go back People have came back plenty right. of times. Yeah, let's go. Let's yeah. go, Nick. Let's, let's go. go. What you talking about? Yes. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, yeah, we'll be back up there. <laughs> yeah, because Jay, okay. Jace was telling me, I, 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 when he told me that he wanted to go back, I was like, it was some things you wanted to get off you ain't get off on. Huh? Yeah, <laughs> yeah, definitely. I just felt like uh, we should have been more, you know, involved in the, and I wanted to just be more involved in what the, was, the what games. What was you holding back for her? Uh, shit, I wasn't ready. I actually didn't know what was going on. It was going so fast. I but enjoyed you know myself what it is? though. Wild and out was an improv show. Uh -huh. Right. You understand? And like yeah, yeah, we, no we we just we started brushing up our skills on improv just recently, which you know what I'm saying? Yeah, but Shout we know how to freestyle and just you know what I mean? Improv and we'll do that. Dig, dig. But mm -hmm. you know, like when, when you get put on the spot, see, like when when I make music, there's nobody in my face. Mm -hmm. It comes from wherever it comes from, and now I'm in a private place making yeah. it. But but yeah. while and out, you you got to be ready to go. Yeah, that shit makes like it that. exciting. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh yeah. It's life. It's, yeah. Gonna be ready. Yeah. It, it's, yeah. it's definitely life. Right. Yeah. <laughs> it's it's definitely life, man. Um, you know, I, um, I'm I'm really blessed to be. Uh, I probably I think this is my, like my almost tenth season being on there. Yeah, yes. word. And uh, yeah, uh, every every time I'm there, <laughs> I'm, I'm walking out. Like, you know, if it feel like like I'm in the NBA or something. Right. Well, you, you, that is the NBA. That's you, the NBA of improv. Yes. Yeah. There is no better show than Wildin' Out. For improv, like, no, that's a fact. It, right, in that capacity. That, like, I, 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 feel I, like, I, I feel like I need to go to, I need to get a job <laughs> like you at Wildin' Out. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I swear to God, because yeah. it, it makes me want to hone my skills. Mm -hmm. And right. just make me want to think on my feet and just have yeah, you fun. Just, yeah, you just got to be comfortable being you. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, 100%. Right. Yeah. Right. yeah. It de definitely brings the best out of you mm -hmm. and whatnot, man. Hell you yeah. know? Um, yeah, man. So, like, I'm over here noticing right now, y'all sound mixed, man. Yeah, y'all ain't, ain't from... Um, <laughs> oh. <laughs> well, y'all ain't uh, from... We're from first New generation Trinidad and American. Get out of so, here. Yeah, yeah, our parents is from Trinidad. All of our family. But we from New York, though, too. You know what I'm saying? Right. So that, I mean, mm. that's Trinidadian American. So mm -hmm. so y'all speak the native language and all that, right? 
Yeah, because it Trin, speaking Trinidadian is is speaking English with an accent. I was about to say. Oh, that's not, what it is. I was yeah. about to say it's just an accent. Oh, yeah. it's just a, yeah. okay. So you it ain't know, no same, same thing. It ain't no Jamaican, language. I, I apologize. Yeah. Same thing right. With so Jamaican, so so Asian. just you know just like you have the uh, um, you know families from Nigeria and just different countries. Of course, we here they in speak America, a our language, parents though. came over them from you know Trinidad, and naturally that's where you're gonna hear that accent. You mm. know. Because we were raised with that. Same thing. Nicki Minaj, like, same thing, I guarantee. Because she was born over there. Mm. So her even more, I'm sure, when you hear her home talking with her peoples, I'm sure you're going to hear that accent like, yo. Yeah, she turns it on and off when she wants to. That's what, that's that's the beauty. Yeah, that's the, that the thing. Yes, you understand? That's the that beauty. Mm. That's the beauty. <laughs> mm, eh, eh. Dig, dig, dig. Y'all from Long Island, right? Yeah, Long Island, New York. Long Island, New York, man. Wine dance, crime dance. Strong Island. Yeah, yeah, yeah y'all big came up like during lot. some rough times in New York too. <laughs> like when New York was New York. Was there, yeah. when New York was New York. Yeah. Rakim, Rakim um, EPMD, K Solo, um, Redman, Brentwood. Shout out to Long Island. Big up. Mm -hmm. Yeah, wine dance. Mm -hmm. well, so where does the singing come from, man? Like, uh, you, you, who, who inspires y'all to do that? Yeah, mom, man, singing dad. been always in our blood, though. Yeah, from from young with mm. the church, mom and dad. Mm -hmm. Oh, so y'all sang in a church? Mm -hmm. Yeah, we were. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> we were the church, you know, because our family is so big. Um, and then being from a small church, you know, my father was a bishop, mother a reverend, so it, it was always, um, you know, the Dalrymple family. It's like okay, it was like eleven of us, including my mom, dad, and grandma. So with the eight kids, it was like. We made up most of the congregation. So the singing, we do a Pentecostal type of, um, you know, worship. So mm. it, it's, it's, everybody is involved. So that's where the harmony just came. So, you know. Y'all ever thought about doing a gospel album? Yes. <laughs> we got, God is blessing us. Hey. He watches over us. He delivers all from the valley of I'm just freestyling trying to follow you. God That's what's up. Us. He watches mm. over us. He delivers mm. all from the valley of yeah, that's, that's us. Is, God is he's us. He's within us. Man, okay. y'all motherfuckers can say. <laughs> he, he's within us. See, that's the thing about Soul For Real. Yeah. And, I, and I think that's the reason why we named Soul For Real is because we are actually direct descendants of Jesus <laughs> Sorry, Christ. Sorry, for real. Of, of Jesus Soul Christ. For Real. I'm sorry. <laughs> Let me stop. Let me this nigga's like... Right. Dig, man. Hey, man, dog, that was uh, unbelievably impressive <laughs> right there. <laughs> Dig, dig. Okay, so um, did off the rip? Did your 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 parents like want y'all to to do um uh, uh, secular music, or y'all had to sneak off and do that? I'm quite. You know how parents are. You know how you know if you have children, like it's it's a it's a I get what you flatter it's flattery. You know what I mean for them right. following your footsteps. I'm quite sure they did. You know, but you know, mm. yeah. I think I like it. That's one side of my parents being being out there from you know Trinidad, that third world country, especially as far as getting like up said, into gospel, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. They, I'm quite sure they would want to. They, but we are. We also are at the, at the same time. Not I wouldn't say not at the speed or not at the place of what they might have envisioned for us. But like for me, honestly, we we make music with that in our backing. You know what I'm saying? So, mm -hmm. so, well, what would you say? Mm -hmm. I kind of lost it. What but I was yeah, saying, he was. But, the question was, um, do you think they? I mean, wanted us did, to be did y'all have to sneak off music? and do right. uh, secular saying, well, music? Or yeah. definitely, I was gonna say. Um, so, with my parents, you know, we grew up during that seventies, eighties era, mm -hmm. and luckily enough, my dad he loved the whole idea of, you know, us doing the the music on a an, on a secular level because that's what he had in his heart like he always said that he wanted to do the whole acting thing and you know he wanted to just somehow be you know if he could you love being in the camera. Portier, right right you know it was like you know my dad was 
old school. So um, I think for because he was a bishop, it was like that hidden type of, I want my sons to do it, <laughs> you understand? But I can't really exploit it fully that, yeah, I want them to go. So when we really finally made it, um, they were super, super excited. Like whenever, you know, we went to church, we were always, in all of their, you know, their communities and their little friendships, they were bragging like, you know, out of this world. But of course, in the in the pursuit of it, I don't think that they were like, oh yeah, go, go ahead and do that. Because my mom's being a reverend, my pop's being a bishop. It just goes against that. Mm. So let me ask you this, man. You know, like, you got eight eight siblings, but you narrow it down to four mm. to, to get inside as far as, you know what I'm saying, the, 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 the group soul for real. But did you did the the other siblings feel a certain type of way when y'all you, you know you you guys are mega now, right? And was it was it jealousy and you know what I'm saying or was they happy for y'all? Can you, can y'all speak on that? I, I'm gonna say I, can, I can't say we I ever had a conversation with any of my siblings about it, but I'm gonna I, <laughs> I, like I'm gonna say I'm gonna yeah say, I'm gonna, I'm quite sure yeah you have mm -hmm. to ask them that. I'm mean, so gonna have to ask my siblings if anything, because I, I really, I do know, but I can't really ask them. I don't know how they feel that's, about yeah, it. Yeah, I feel you the know same. What I'm saying because that's a touchy situation, like because life is, like we human beings, we we so for real, but we're human beings. And my sisters and our family, we we're just right, we're just as regular as everybody else. Mm -hmm. So I, I'm I can guarantee you that. They have issues of feelings with because I'm fucked up. I'm, excuse me. <laughs> Sorry, you know what I'm saying? I'm not perfect. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? I'm pretty sure people got many people have issues with. Me. Yeah, I'm fucked up. Yeah, mm -hmm. <laughs> super fucked up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But so the flip side of that, I, and I want to say because, um, and I think I can answer it because the question goes back to when. We were in the pursuit and when we made it, not after, you know, naturally those things come. So, you know, because of how close the family was, I'm not going to front. I never felt um, any jealousy, any type of hatred or, or none of that from my family. They, because it was nobody else's dream. It was our dream. Got it. You understand? So. Um, even if it became their dream after they saw like, oh, wow, it can happen. It can, it can really happen. I, I never felt any jealousy because they was they were on the album. Right. You know what I mean? It was it was a family affair. Like we we always incorporated the family no matter what. Oh, the other siblings and you like oh, yeah. kids and stuff like that. No, Absolutely. Nick and Des were on the album. Yeah, I my, my, both my sisters was on, was on that song. If you want it. OK. Mm-hmm. That's what's up, man. Um, and other songs. Yeah, yeah I was going to say, they, yeah, they, they was on, on If You Want It. Yeah, right. Everything that Terry was on. Right. I think it, it, was um, it, wasn't, it wasn't everything. It was well, like it was two like songs. two songs. Mm -hmm. What's the hardest part about, you know what I'm saying, working with your family and uh, uh, and working with your family, let alone working with your brothers? You're all men. You ever feel like you was in competition with each other at any point? But to me, the hardest part about that is just getting your point across with between the, all of us, mm -hmm. because everybody has, everybody stands in their own square, and everybody's uh, stern. And uh, my my dad, he was a very strict person, so that rubbed off on all of us. We always we all very. Uh, what, what's the what's the word? We're we're, we're definitely we. What, what's we're, the word? Opinionated. We're ve all very strongly opinionated. And we stand in our own square. So my my thing is getting my voice heard and understood from Jace, Bry, and Chalk. Mm. Me, uh, I can't stand these motherfuckers sometimes. <laughs> but <laughs> guess what? They my brothers. You know what I'm saying? Dead ass. Like anybody that has, I mean, you know, see, we grew up so close, and it, it's like. But I, I could, they know that because it's not, 
you know, I can say that and they know that's with a smile. That's me, bro. I can't stand these motherfuckers, but guess what? I can't not love them. You understand? We were yeah. created. Yeah, we you can't understand? fucking love each other. Right. You know, right. You know what I'm saying? We can't, we can't, we can't, we can't. You can't never say fuck each other. Yeah. No. Exactly. Yeah. No. You know what I mean? And we can, fact, but at the man. end of the day, you we, still gotta fuck with each other. Nah, and we can and we do. Word up. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, that's fuck it. you, I love you. You yeah. know what I'm saying? There you Type go. shit. But we have But like as the youngest, as the youngest, I just learned early how to kind of not be so competitive, you know what I'm saying? Mm. You know, because I'm the youngest, you know what I'm saying? Like, I don't know why it came along. I, these, we're all just kind of crazy in our own, like you said, we're all opinionated. Uh, well, think about it. Strong. Look at that. Eight you kids. Me and him is in the middle. You got to remember. So regardless of what, we've always been the ones, if you look, just looking, warring, trying to, you understand, <laughs> trying to just find that, you have eight kids and then the fourth and the fifth child is just like in the middle. You understand? You mm -hmm. have the beginning, you have the end. It's a whole lot of in between. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? So it's it's really just kind of just finding it's your It's a big purpose. balance. It's a big right. balance thing. I think that's what, I think the biggest thing we could learn from talking about this part of the conversation is that it's, it's all part of that balance that's part of life type shit. Let's talk about Wherever influences, man. Like what's some groups that y'all looked up to growing up? And y'all was like, this is what we supposed to be doing right here. You mean musical oh, influences? Yeah. Forget about it. Shit. it hands Man. down, the Jacksons. We just thought we were the Jacksons. Through the years. You know, and not because just of, You know, just because of um, how it was, you know, the Jackson Five, you know, the five boys and three girls. And, you know, the same way that our family, but, you know. But then we, you had an, other ones like uh, New Edition and then Boys to Men. Boys to Men is kind of like when... Um, we kind of, when we formed Soul Let's Food, go down the timeline. we were in Florida, and my brother... BBD be, time. Bro, I used to write Chalk, Chalk is B. That was New BBD. York. That was BBD time. That was yeah, Boys to Men and BBD. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, it was BBD, but we were singing Boys to Men at the time. Correct. That's what would hone our skills. Mm -hmm. And when people would hear us that sing was, that, they're like, what? That was also um, Anita Baker time. That was cut it out. Man, That's what yes. Yeah, right, carry time. <laughs> right. Cut that it was out. also cut like it yes. um cut what's the name? Luther Vandross time. That was that was a lot of Yeah, you just bringing of, up the, the, the stuff we was having at the, the singing no, contest in Jackson. Yeah, but those are the <laughs> times though. Then uh, right. you talking about like but, I mean, that's what y'all like. Let's yeah, talk you talk about, about the whole timeline of what you just about, asked. Let's, like. let's talk about Pat Benatar. Let's talk about loving an elevator. Oh, you talking yeah. about way back in the day. When I'm going down. So that's, that that's, that's Arrow Smith. That's Arrow Smith. Smith. Come on, yeah. Yeah. let's talk about so we listen. We, mm -hmm. we listen to top 40 music, you know. So I, that's why I was saying it's like we. we I had really, you in the box, man. Yeah. No, we ain't. No, no way, bro. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Absolutely. I mean, you would. We just look like this. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah Prince, yeah, yeah. Uh, Lionel Richie. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it, it was all a, a, a huge spectrum. Mm -hmm. What's something about y'all that people would be surprised to know, man? What What's one of the biggest misconceptions about Soul for Real? Mm. Shit, that's a good question. <sighs> man, I would think I mean, just me. Um, that we, you know, we're regular, you know, we, we go through the regular everyday struggles in life that everybody goes through. You know, people, I think people misconceive us as being the children that they last saw us as being. So they actually forget that it's a good one. We're, we're grown men, we're fathers, you understand? We're brothers, we're providers, we're producers. We have to participate with our families and we have to protect our families. So with having all of those responsibilities, but also just being the candy rain guys. That's it. You know. Say it. That's what he said. Say it. And what you say. <laughs> say it. And, but what you say though, Katie. Yeah, say that. So ask me the question again, sir. What's the biggest misconception about Soul For Real? What do people always got Man. fucked up about y'all? Right. I it's would, not like that. I agree with yeah, I agree listen, with him, with what he just what, I, I what niggas what, what people have fucked up about us is like yo don't don't get it don't get it twisted, bro. Like we are actually the saviors of R and B. You see how we can just, that's the, you saying like, some big you, you shit. See, right listen, now. you see how we can just sit here 
and just start harmonizing. Easy at a drop of a dime. Like I mean, shit, if Jack Queens mm -hmm. could say he's the king of R&B, then you could say that. <laughs> <laughs> Don't get it twisted, but we the saviors. And look, I ain't going nowhere. You know what a lot of people like to say? Oh, yo, man, you have Candy Rain, you got a hit. Man, just go on and sing that. Nah, I'm not going to just keep singing Candy Rain, my, my guys. World, I'm, I'm telling the world right now, I'm never going to stop. <laughs> I'm never going to stop singing and making music and creating. <laughs> you said, I'm ha -ha. always, you said, ha -ha. until the day I take my last breath, we you're not going to create. We you ain't going to let them put you. No, you're not going to tell me <laughs> okay. to, do, to, to perform Candy Rain and just run with that. <laughs> what you going to do is you're going to listen to the new stuff that I have <laughs> that's coming out of my heart and oh, my yeah. soul. Don't get it twisted. <laughs> <laughs> I felt that right there, bro. I felt that. No, I'm serious. Like, you asked me a question, I'm coming oh, from shit. I, I, I heard it. I felt that. I got chills in my spine right now. I, like, I got to listen to this new shit. I better listen to his new shit. One hundred percent. Now, hey man, who could who could sell for real verse? Who who would y'all? Oh my God! Can I dab you up for that? Man, yeah. I'm, oh hey, my come God! On, come on, listen, now. stop it! Uh, come who, on now. I was who could sell for real verse? Who could y'all um, verse? Honestly, whoever whoever feels that they, custom whoever feels that they could really be on that level. Unfortunately, we don't have the catalog out there to really. Be on some oh yeah and calling out folks, but I like the way I like the way that verses is now kind of um, organically shifting and giving it now this real competitive now. Like, let me see, because forget the studio singing, forget the tracks. Let's get on the mics and let's see who can engage and have that audience. You understand? Let's entertain. Can I say something? Because that's are you are you saying that you would you would shut any you talking about down. singing? Can I, can talking I about vocally? Can I say something? I wouldn't go as far as to say we'll shut anybody down, but we will definitely be in the arena with anybody that calls themselves a cappella, <laughs> R&B, whatever it is. Soul for real is you right there. Y'all want the smoke? Y'all want the smoke? Did you hear what Brian all of it. just said? I heard what he just listen, said. Yeah, all listen, of it. Man, listen, look. He, I don't care He who said who you ain't scared listen, of no gun. I don't care who no. you I'm going to tell What's anybody. Come try me when it comes down to vocals. If you was on wow. verses already, right? If you was on verses already and you did it, you can come back. You can bring me back and bring me, bring us out. Mm. And, and we can verse anybody. Mm. Like who, who's dope to you? Sis. Who's dope vocally to you? Oh man. Like a lot of oh, people, man. honestly. I mean, because look, I, I, what I will not do, artists? what I will not do is this. I'm not going to take away. There's always going to be technical difficulties and there's going to be certain things that go on with live performances that I know. Yeah, yeah. See, I know, you know, not to specify anybody's name, but I know some of the people specifically on the last verses that is getting, you know, a, a bad rap because of whatever, but I know a lot of because those of guys and they rarely know how to because sing. Because of a bad night. Yeah. Right. I, I was you know just, I, mean? I was looking like, night. man. How many songs does Sammy have? How many night. songs, did, hate I, I, songs did Sammy have? Yeah, Sammy that's came neither here nor there. a couple of songs. But we all have bad which nights. Which was blown. You know? When you listen to Sammy, that man, his voice is on point. Listen, all of them, all of them, everybody has a bad night, like he just said. So at the end of the day, we're nobody to sit here and be like, oh. I'm not judging nobody, but what I'm saying is, you just said something earlier, talking about our catalog. And I, and I believe that our fans is going to listen to all of everything that we have. Yeah, we, I mean, so, so we, have Sammy, a, we have a decent and, enough catalog you know because saying? back like, then people so was buying could, albums. So we could go on verses and verse anybody that wants to go. What verses but let's to specify. Me is about Let's yeah, I don't, I, don't, I, don't, I don't know. If I, can that's, I don't know. Well, then, I don't really right, know. So that's what my pops, my pops I'm rest in say peace. High five. I like this. I'm gonna say high five. <laughs> okay. All right. They ain't been on verses. Okay. I'm gonna say high You're five. You with their ass? <laughs> Absolutely. We'll rim. We'll we'll rip them, them. them. We'll now we'll rip them a new. Uh, we'll rip them a new asshole. What about oh. trip? What about true? <laughs> All of them. Who? Oh yeah. See they. Yeah. We we ripping through them. We running through them. What'd you say? True. Listen, don't yeah, ABC. 
Ah, uh, stop it. Come on, man. See, this list, we, we, that's not, I was going to say, you have to bring people, I ain't going to front, you know who's, who will, who will feel comfortable yes. with, on some real, like a Drew Hill. Yes. You understand? Some niggas that's going to buck. Them cats that was in the van, you know, they know, they banged, they, they banged the pavement with us already, you understand? Okay. You understand? We, that, that's our era. Mm. They know we, we. You we know all the, you know the whole oh, Drew Hill. Them I, niggas sang, sang, I, all of them. Yes. Yes. You know, they got a player in the group. Them niggas uh, yes. are Yes. Yes. Absolutely. That doesn't, you know, that doesn't. They don't, they don't, they don't intimidate John at all. That doesn't intimidate at all. intimidates me. Because look, at the, at the end of the day, it's entertainment. And, and, and the, the audience is going to tell us what. But, but what's, what's going on? How, how would you answer Teo Falsetto? Huh? Who got the falsetto in the group? Uh -huh. <laughs> don't, <it's>, listen. <laughs> Don't worry, they're secret weapons. Man. Oh, okay. okay. They're secret Don't weapons. Don't worry, man. They're okay. secret weapons. I, I, I like this talk right here, man. Yeah, yeah because, you know, it, and, and man, that's can what... Can y'all please bring us some verses? Yo, Jack, <laughs> call these niggas out. Can y'all please... Who have, where the camera at? <laughs> Yo, who wanted to smoke? Man? Please. <laughs> please call us on verses, y'all. Hey, let, let me ask you this question, man. Uh, when, when you guys were on the road, who was somebody that you guys met that you never thought that you would meet that you definitely got starstruck over? Oh, wow. Um, I was never really starstruck ever. I knew you was going like, to say that shit. No, but you know why? I knew, you, <laughs> I knew out of everybody you was going to say that shit. Nah, right but here. it's funny. You know why? I was, but yeah, I'm, glad, I'm, I'm, glad, I'm glad you said that. Uh -huh. I always felt <laughs> like... Um, what you always felt like? When you were... When you I know that you're a star, uh -huh. okay. you're not going to feel, oh, you know what? Oh, crazy. And they, they know. I used to be like, yo, my niggas. That, like, I'm glad you're saying that. I'd be like, yo, I'm so, like, so for me, we for me. Star all the time. Right. For me, for me, it's <laughs> not. <laughs> but remember, we, like, we, for me, it's not. Shit. I'd be like, yo. So we knew. Like, chill. Like, we knew. We knew. Chill. For me, we it's not. We knew to the game. So yeah. at the end of the day, when we meeting people, I'd be like, yo, chill, yo. But at the end of the day, I'm really trying to get in touch with my like, yo, yo, we so... Me, he was doing something right can though I just because, say this? like, a lot of times, like, people, like, they're in, the, in this entertainment, mm -hmm. like, people act like they're not human. Mm -hmm. And they, they, like, I felt bad a couple of times being starstruck, so I, I get why he... Why? Because they shit on you, like, niggas. So hold on, hold on. That's why, hold on. So hold on. This is what oh, I was so trying to say. you had some bad like, experience being starstruck. Yeah. So, okay. boom. I To the point where... Me, uh, before I met any stars, period, before I even got famous, I always looked at it like, damn, well, these stars were always once normal people. You, they weren't always oh, stars. You had so, that understanding. Yes. So I'm like, before I got in the game. So when I once I get in the game, to me, being starstruck is just realizing, oh, shit, that's blase, blase. That's the extent of my starstruckness. Oh, shit. Stop, oh, stop shit, it, oh, that's shit. blase blase. Because okay. honestly, at the end of the day, that's a job. Mm -hmm. They're playing a part. They're, they're on stage when they... I'm on stage when I come out the door. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. That's so, like being... That, look, I, I'm going to be starstruck off of LeBron if I'm Kobe. Nah, it's like, yo, all right, what up, nigga? I'm out yeah, the but at the same... <laughs> at the same time... I'm starstruck yeah, off of you. I'm like this. At the same time, like, you know, it's... Like, like, but, at the but, same time, you know, it's ill. I know he was... Um, who was it? That um, Sha Shaquille O'Neal back in the days. Skits the fuck out of fucking Michael Jordan. And I know everybody's a Not fan. <laughs> yes. Not at all. Shaq. Big Shaq fucking had Mike like... Skirt, went to left. He went all the way left. You can look it up. I promise. Oh, really? that yeah. shit. Uh, yes. Okay. Look at that shit the fuck up. Hold on. Just kill O'Neal. Do you what? know? Yes. Big Shaq had Michael, Mike, shook, Mike, shook, Mike, shook Jordan, Jordan. Yeah. shook, and went the other way and went up with the layup. You would, you would everybody, even Mike laughed. You know what I'm saying? Uh, ain't nobody going to believe that. I got, like, I got, I, I'm, I'm going to look this say, up. Right. You but, know we got but, to look this up. Uh, yeah. Put, 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 put some money on it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you know, I'm going to fuck with it either. Shit. Yeah. Anything can happen out this But my point is, you know, everybody's a fan of Mike. Yeah, you know 100%. Saying? Come on. I know, I know about, I, I know about uh, Isaiah Thomas. Right. I know about Iverson. But that mm -hmm. Shaq right there, you, shit. Yeah, it's, look at it. It was just yeah, like some Shaq practice didn't have shit. no handles. That's why I was looking like. Look, yeah, look, look at it. Yeah. You don't look and find that shit. You don't right. see. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Look it up right now. You want me to look it up? I'll look it up. No. We some what? 
Y'all some big ass niggas, <laughs> man. I, 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 I said it. I said it to say like, did y'all play sports? Yo, this man right here. Definitely. Y'all look like active right now. Well, well, <laughs> I mean, we like if you, you have, if you, now, if, if you ain't uh, going, totally if you ain't going out sing you, you like y'all take niggas to the hole. Or if they want to play that, goddamn that flag football, yeah, the old, what, we could definitely what, what, do like a, a celebrity uh, basketball not the senior, game. But him and yeah, me. But y'all have to wear We are definitely the retired crew. I'm, we in our 40s now. It's over with. Man, I still want smoke. I don't care, man. I know. You, you know, listen, know my knee is messed gonna up. That's going to be in your heart. That's going to be in your heart. Even though my knee is messed he's, up. He's about retired. going to be in your heart. Your knee is messed up. You about retired now. Nah, nigga, I just give me a... Yeah, we definitely, listen, we'll definitely shake something on the celebrity. Katie, you the smoking one in the group. You, a, you down for whatever. <laughs> <laughs> hey, what's going on? I'm Jack Thriller, man. And whenever my love is on the rocks, or it's neat, or it's straight, I'm always trying to holler at my boy Music Soul Child and find out what love according to music is. And it's that segment, love according to music. So, music, um... I, I'm, I got this girl I'm talking to, okay. and I I want her to start calling me daddy, but she doesn't want to do it because she has like quote unquote daddy issues and whatnot. Okay. But I'm I'm like I'm not that trying to be that daddy to you. Right, right. I'm I'm not your father. I'm not your. I, I don't like Poppy because I'm not Spanish. Okay, but I'd like her to call me daddy. Okay, you know what I'm saying? And, okay, and I don't know. It just makes me feel. It, 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 I think it's, it's sexy when a, a, a grown woman is uh -huh. calling you. They, I had to, I don't know why I just said that. That's just fine. Yeah. Yeah. You, you see where I'm going with you're this? You're trying to explain yourself. I got I'm you. trying to explain myself just in case somebody. Can, you people always trying understand to understand what you're saying. Okay. Man. All right. I, I go, get. I go, got. Go, go ahead. All right. So uh, that's a that's a nuanced thing in my opinion. So so for instance, you know, I'll, I'll admit like I'm not really partial to that. You know, because. I'm, I'm sure that I have my own daddy and mommy issues, you know, when it comes to that. Um, so that's not something that I necessarily participate in. But I don't, I don't hate or look down on anybody. That's, you know, that's what you do. But I think that, you know, there's a lot of things to consider with that. One, as you mentioned, I don't think that people that like that, you know, actively think of themselves, you know, as the dad that may, you know, like, I don't, I don't think that that's what's happening at all, you know. Um, not in that context, you know, I think it's more the way that I see it is it's more of a, of, of, a, of a role of authority. It's almost like role playing, you know, but uh, I think people conflate that, you know, for people that may have issues with that, that they may think that, you know, you're saying that you're you're their father. Like, that's not that's not. It's, it's no different than how men, you know, we call women, you know, that's my baby, you know, that's, we just refer to, no, you're not an infant, you know, but it's a term of, of endearment that we socially have grown to start using and we understand contextually what that means. So for you, I would have a conversation with her um, to try to see where exactly she's coming from with that. Why does she have an aversion to that? Why does it rub her the wrong way? You may be even uh, able to help her work through some of her challenges when it comes to that, that she may even warm up to the idea or she may not. And that may be something that you have to accept. Like she don't like that shit. Don't don't do it. You know, it ain't too many things that, you know, she could ask me to to, to, to refer to her as far as nicknames go. Mm -hmm. But if it make me feel good, I got no problem with doing it. So I don't even understand why it's such a big deal to her. I feel like it's so petty. OK, it may be petty to you because you like it and you feel like it's something that you don't get to do that you like. But how would you feel if she wanted you to do something that she actually may have that you don't like, but it makes her feel good? She wants me to choke her and I don't mm -hmm. want to choke her because it looked like I'm choking her. You know, but some women, for whatever the reasons are, they like that and it makes them feel good. So to her, she may be thinking that, you know, because of her upbringing, and her potential relationship with, you know, her paternal, you know, circumstance. That may be a trigger that sends her in the wrong direction, in the direction that you don't want her to go. Mm. And she's basically doing her version of communicating that to you. Mm. I don't like when. I'll call you daddy, how that makes me feel. But you're getting off on it. Yeah, we're going to have to talk about that. I got it. Because yeah. I, the, 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 I think the wildest part about it is, is some women that have no problem 
w that I've been with calling me daddy. Then either you need to go be with those women or just accept the woman that you with. Don't like it. Thanks a lot, Music Soul Child. That, you definitely answered my question. That was exactly what I was looking for. Okay. And uh, I guess I'm going to stop trying to make her call me daddy. Or at least have a conversation about it. Yeah. yeah. That was love, according to music. You sound you you can't, you you the one that got it got it got the group in the fights and stuff. Man. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, let me ask you this question. Well, no, I'm the one that will whoop your ass. <laughs> no, I'm saying. So mm. with that being said, have had y'all ever got into it with other groups and mm. or fans or something like that? Like, mm. nah, it, honestly, it never it never got to that, and you know, thankfully so. Like, it, it that's not the arena. For it, you know what I mean. R and B, that's the music. Don't get it, the don't get it twisted. Industry. Like regardless of what, you know, yeah. we'll have the hour. You know, it's just the bravado. You know how finicky the music men. industry is, man. But at the end of the day, R and B is about love. Love, no, no, you, you, yeah. But you'd be surprised. Some of your favorite R and B singers didn't got into put the beats on you. Some of your listen, favorite R and B singers. The hand, the hand game. I, I'm confident that you know we grew up in New York where you know we slap box and Long Island mm -hmm. do all of that. Like, uh, but the how does that fit into R and B? Yeah, it, but, uh, it don't really fit in. But it'd be a lot of competition out there and whatnot. I, I've seen Jack, listen, one thing about R and B singers. A lot that, of times, sorry, not to cut you off. Mm -hmm. When we come around, people just look at us like how you see how tall we are. I mean, and like it's all love. People just man. look at us like, yo, what the hell is, is going on? Mm -hmm. And I, try, I was telling my brother that the other day. I'm like, B, I, I think we're scary looking. Like, just, mm -hmm. like you know what I'm saying? Like, you smile what my more. Sounds like I mean, maybe I need to just smile a little bit while I'm saying what I'm saying. <laughs> you're silly, yeah. But you're silly, it's just you're me. Yeah, they I'm help. Not, I don't they mean help. nothing. I don't <laughs> mean nothing by, by it. I'm just this is who I am. Yeah. Like get to know me, y'all. Fuck with me. I don't, I'm not. I'm not gonna hurt nobody. Mm -hmm. I definitely call the police on all y'all. <laughs> 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 I will press charges to the fullest of the law. It's big as shit. Yeah, that's you don't be ready right. for it every no, but, time. Uh, right. It's but a surprise every time. Like, like this nigga is 6'6", 220. You 6'6", six, six, bro? He's 6'6", yeah, 220. I'm not 220 at all. I'm 205. Six six. I'm an athlete. See, don't give him them fifteen pounds. Yeah. Okay. He, <laughs> want, he want me. Yeah, see, I, he is a ten in the waist. <laughs> <laughs> I, don't remember, I don't know how much. Respect his figure, bro. <laughs> oh shit. D, D. So y'all still working out, keeping yourselves in shape and whatnot. You working on new projects right stay now? Active, stay Where active. Where we at? Stay active. Definitely working on um, new single. Uh, so for reals, number one. You can expect mm. visual on that coming soon. You know what I mean? Yeah, I mean, just doing honestly, like like when we first came into the game, and um, I love the fact that we could be around twenty five years, you know, plus later, you know, um, like my brothers were saying, it'll be great for the <clears throat> the new audience right now to, you know, accept us and and kind of bridge that gap because people. You know, they uh -huh. hear Candy Rain and they don't even know what we look like. Exactly. So naturally, in order for you to get some type of recognition, we're going to have to give you some new material. But it also opens uh, the door and the lanes for us to go in other places like, you know, acting and, you know, modeling and, you know, just, just doing just different things. He is a transition. You know, uh, capitalizing off of the fact that we do have a Candy Rain and every little thing. So, you know, our fans, they grew up with us. They, they they got grazed now, <laughs> you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. You know, and, and, and we appreciate that, mm -hmm. that we could still look good right now. I could get down and give you 100 push-ups, mm -hmm. flat, out one time. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Uh, maybe about 50, 50. <laughs> but <laughs> just to say, health is the new wealth. Dig, dig. You know what I mean? It's no point to even try to enjoy life without being healthy because, you know, it's an expiration. So That's the one thing you want your expiration, want. Date longer, put in some work and take care of yourself. Like he said, health is new wealth. That's the one thing that we own as humans. We own our health. And what you put in is what you're going to get out. Mm. So y'all eat real holistically and whatnot too, huh? You said eat real holistically? Yeah, like, you know what I'm saying? You, you, you What, what is your diet like? Y'all don't eat pork? Um... Eat uh, pork, but don't overindulge. Okay. 
know what I mean? It, it sounds like, you know, I'm, I'm probably looking too much into this, and mm-hmm. you guys probably eat the same shit I do. Yeah. No, I, right. just not as, as much. Jeans, listen, probably not just as much not as, as I much. do. Your metabolism has a lot to do with it. Okay. Right. Right. You know what I mean? I did, did. Because it's jeans. You know what I mean? I'm, 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 I'm a slick and fat guy. That's the, 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 love. the blessing. Yeah. You know what I mean? Whatever yeah. I want. Mm-hmm. You never got bigger, it is you. Not one time, Jay Sunday. <laughs> I mean, you never got bigger. I'm, I'm, I'm big no. in the spirit. Mm-hmm. Dig, dig. You, you yeah. don't know what it's like to be a fat guy. Mm, yeah. Dig. Nah. God bless you. I do. Yes. You, you ain't got fat one time. Yeah, Ooh. like around right here, like I'm looking, I'm walking by, and the mirror, I'm like, oh shit. I'm like, nah, that's not what's up, bro. And you was performing with your brothers too. Yeah, and I just stopped eating. Mm-mm. Yes, I was. Not you. Well, I'm just saying up. for me, I can't, I can't. Did y'all used to get on them about that shit? Like, hey, man, what the fuck is you no, doing? Nobody knows Hon- that Honestly, you, honestly, that it, it kind of creeps. It cre- kind of creeps on you. When, honestly, like, yes, you get, you know, you see it, but you don't see it enough to be like, yo, until it's, until it's on you, and then be like, yo, you mm-hmm. need to lose some weight, huh? You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Yeah. I mean, that happened to me several times. Oh, you got fat a few times. Yeah, just look at me like, yo, man, what, what are you doing, bro? Yeah. All right, stop. Stop whatever you're doing. I'm like, right. <laughs> I'm fat. I'm a fat guy, period. Yeah. I eat. I like to eat, 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 eat. Yeah. Mm, you be cooking. Yeah, I remember when I was, uh, I, 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 I was getting fat again <laughs> with, uh, when I was working at This Is 50. And I was walking, I, I walked in the office one day and 50 came up to me. He said, Man, what the fuck is going on with you, Jack? You just don't give a fuck no more, huh, do you? Mm-mm. And I was like, what are you talking about? I said, man, look, nigga, you look crazy. Right. What are you talking, what the fuck are you talking about? <laughs> he said, look at your body. Nah. I said, what's wrong with my body? Well, nah, but I seen, really I, I seen you in the gym, nigga. You strong than a mug. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm like one of the most in shape fat niggas you'll ever meet in your life. you strong than a mug, bro. Yeah, 100%. I ain't in front. One, one, I can do 100 yeah. push up straight. Word up. 100 jump, jump at, jack straight. At your, at your weight, I was like, whoa, that nigga's strong than a mug. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm pulling was up 13 times straight. I was straight. impressed. Nice. Yeah. yeah, I was man. impressed, my nigga. See, and look, yeah. it's that's a whole a, diet, though. That's, that's, that's a major thing, though. Yeah. Push, pushing and pulling your own weight, all that weight, yeah. all mm-hmm. that pushing and pulling your own weight is everything. 100%. Right. right. Yeah, yeah. So, you know, I, I'm just trying, trying to get a hold of that diet because I'm really. Really trying to like get a hold of this sex symbol shit, you know what I'm saying? I want to be a sex symbol. <laughs> that's the that's that's what I'm chasing I'm right now. Look good, you know. Yes. And, and yes. Uh, it's, it's one thing to be one thing to be you know famous, but it's a whole another 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 thing to be Shamar Moore or to be goddamn Morris <laughs> Kojo out this bitch or a tank. Yeah. You know that's I'm yeah. trying to get like tank We're right doing now. No 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 no. Doing their thing. But you don't want that smoke though. What you mean? I mean, you really you think you want that smoke, but you don't want that shit. Man, what you talking about, Willis? <laughs> yeah, he's trying to motivate you. He's trying to, he just motivate you. Man, I'm, I'm, yeah, I'm, yeah, I want that. Yeah. I damn sure enough want that. All right. I'm trying, mm. yeah, I'm finna get it together. Let's go. I'm you ain't saying shit. I'm gym with you, man. Where we going? Where we going? <laughs> Dog, we can go in the morning. You ain't saying shit. <laughs> you know you fucking with? Mm. Yeah. That's funny. You cool? Let me find out when you you want them fake and shape niggas and stuff. Cause you you you, you ever been to to the gym with a fake and shape nigga? Like they look they in they look in shape, but they get inside that gym, they can't they ain't lifting that. Yeah. They ain't got their cart. They they ain't got their wind up. None of that shit. Yeah, just, they, they, nah, it's I'm just dummy. straight up gym. Nah, just in shape gym. Nah, nah, nah. That's Y'all get busy fine. in that gym. Oh, I mean, Absolutely. see, my my thing is, I mean, I don't I say I. I don't underestimate nothing, mm. and I don't speak nothing. I don't, you know what I mean. So we just get down. But I'm gonna, I'm gonna push it. You know, my get own weight. exactly. I'm they, a, they, I'm they. Over. I'm gonna all the way. Push we go all the way though. Over, you know what I'm saying? We go all the way. Over. I can dig it. Mm-hmm. I can dig it. I man, I, I, I went to your unsung party. Yeah. And man, man, when I you guys' story was so amazing. Thank you, man. man. I had no idea that y'all was had went through so much. Yeah, it's, it's, you know what I'm saying? It, it when, when, like if um, when it when it comes to that show, unsung, it, that was one of the best unsungs I had ever seen in my life. Wow. You know what I'm saying? T- when it's talking about from the 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 deal you guys signed and all this mm-hmm. other stuff, and you know how people took took advantage of that, and you know, but the, on on the same same token too, like what is, what is what's something that I know how I feel about it, but what y'all wanted people to take away from y'all unsung? 
But don't care is gonna make you stronger. That's why I'm gonna tell you to listen. Don't ever let nobody tell you nothing. Don't, if you have your your dreams and your goals and your aspirations, stay in that tunnel vision mm -hmm. and just stay down. Because at the end of the day, even if you don't make it, that's 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 your journey. That's you. You you can't like you know what I mean. Like that's it was written. Mm -hmm. So so let it be written. So let it be done. Do you guys have any regrets? On what? In, or, just in general, any, just any, anything that you could change. No, we not, but we not live with regrets. I don't live with regrets. It happened. It happened. Nothing it's you want to do a do over. It's off of a decision we made or mm -hmm. you made. What happens? You know what I'm saying? It's always a ripple in the pond. Mm -hmm. So what can you? Well, how could you wish for something? That's, that's like, you know what I mean? It's a waste of time for me. Dig right. on that cutter. What it should. I, I wanted to go back to where you said. Um, the question as far as um, what I want people to take away from that song? Correct. Yes. And um, I wanted people to take away that the mystique that Soul For Real has in everybody's mind is the fact that Unsung was supposed to let you know that our, it was really was supposed to just give you a peek into our story of so much more. A little peek of what happened, which I don't really think. Did it do that? Man, it, it gave gotta, us a you, big ass peek. Okay. I was inside the window. Okay. Right. okay so, so let me, if you, <laughs> if, I don't, if you don't mind, what did you take away very briefly from Unsung? Very briefly from Unsung, I, I I saw that you guys were really hungry and that I mean I ain't I, I, I didn't know that you know y'all even was selling drugs and stuff into you know take care of your family. You you hear these stories all the time. Right. That never was my that never was my reality. Right. But to hear that you know what I'm saying that you were trying to provide for your family and whatnot until you got into a space where y'all did get the deal and then you you after you are you're, you're you're asking yourself too, like why did they sign this deal? Mm. Because it's a, it's a chance of a lifetime. Right. And if you don't, if you, they don't do if you if you don't sign that deal, it's a whole nother group that'll sign that deal. Yeah, absolutely. And it could be any, it could be anybody, and it's all about what you do with it. Absolutely. And so it, it's it, you guys saw your shot, and you shot your shot, and you took the shot, mm -hmm. you made the best and out we, of it. And we made the shot, honestly, and I'm glad You not, did not it to three times. You yeah, you, not you, to cut you off, but just to concert what you said, and you got exactly what you were supposed to get from Unsung, mm -hmm. and that was a peak. But now I believe that Unsung set us up for the bio peak, mm -hmm. you understand? Because there's so much more to soul for real than what that unsung gave you. You know what I'm saying? It only gave you a fraction of soul for real story. You understand? There's so much more vital things that need to be put out there. You understand? That will give you a full understanding of who we are and what we are. You have any untold stories, man, that, uh, that you could share with us? That uh, that y'all never got a chance to put out on a on a um in an outlet and everything that we could get some about soul for real. Um, honestly, not off not off the bat. <laughs> what <laughs> what you think? <laughs> Katie, I know you got something. Bro. Yeah, we got. I got a couple. Of I know you do. Listen, I know you do. Time, listen, I know how Brian is. He's on that we bullshit. Was in Italy, man. This <laughs> okay. is this is just my personal. One time we was in Italy, bro. And we got on this elevator. It was like all of us. I'm claustrophobic. So we all standing like close like this. Kind of facing. It was I mean, a pretty was, small I mean, elevator. It was, it was five or six of us. And it, we, go, it's, we in the elevator. To say, it goes up. Mm, we think it's going up. So this elevator she got just stuck stops. In the middle of the and So we just floors. in there just chilling. Everybody thinks we're going up. <laughs> we're like, what? And then as the time is going by. So I just start. Yeah, we realized you know, like we, our just like realized we were stuck. Once we realized we were stuck, he started <laughs> tripping, I started started freaking breathing, out. freaking, freaking, just freaking out. And then we grabbed the elevator door, 
we broke the door. My brother Steve was on the outside. That's how we knew it was in and, between uh, the floors. Like, once we grabbed it and broke it, his hands came in. Ding! And we were like, that's ah, funny. boom! <laughs> we broke funny. it. We all stood. That's how he remembers that yeah, shit. But that's, that's what it, happened. But it was that, nothing like that. Happened. It was <laughs> nothing <laughs> like that. What happened? This nigga was high, wasn't he? <laughs> no. Well, I'm always high, though. But anyway. Shit, I, don't I, know, think we I, know, got, I know you was that nigga <laughs> in the group. I don't think we got high yet. That okay. Was, uh, we had just got shit. Man, we got out of that damn elevator, man, and that, it was just scary as hell. Okay. If you ever stuck right. in the elevator, man. I'm not doing that what you did. I'm not going to do right. that. I don't know what you're going to tell me to do. I don't. I, I, don't, I, don't I, I was just like, yo, we have to get out. I don't like what yeah. you did. And we yeah. just <laughs> broke it. We broke it and we climbed out. Yeah, yeah actually stuck in between But the reason why, I'm telling the reason, because the, the yeah, people... Yeah, tell me the reason. So it wasn't that. We just all oh, fucking went crazy. Um... The security in the front desk, you know, they were acting real, just like full out racist. You know, we're in Italy, we're all, you know, black. The whole, our whole entourage is black. Nobody is white with us. I think the only person that's white is the promoter. So that was the, you know, he was our um, interpreter. Mm -hmm. So they were really like shunning us. And when they hit the alarm, it was like literally my, because my brother Steve was out there. So he was like, it was like they were just fully just ignoring the fact that we were stuck in the elevator between floors for a long time. Mm -hmm. You understand? So it was like, all right, well, look, nobody's coming. We're hitting the alarms. Nobody, they're acting like this. Like, we're just like, oh, yeah, this is the normal, regular day. So we just was like, all right, fuck this shit. We're not going to sit in here and, you know, suffocate or do whatever. A man's strength, it, it came in our, it worked in our favor. I can dig it. I go, who got the best weed? Who got the best weed? Who got where? Where? Where, where did y'all go ahead? The best Cali weed. Cali hands down. Absolutely. Cali hands down. And it, Actually, you know what? One time, remember we went to. Um, it's, it's, in, it's next to Cali, but what is that? Well, yeah. Amsterdam. Honestly, if you want to compare Amsterdam with Cali, because we went to Amsterdam twice. What's the place where it's next to Cali, but it's always gloomy and it said it has a high suicide rate? Oh, um, Seattle. Seattle, Seattle got some fire, fire. But they got a high suicide rate. <laughs> yeah. yeah, that's what you want to smoke. You want to smoke over there? No, I'm just saying that's what that. When I went there, and I, we did a concert. That ain't there. spooky to you? <laughs> no, I think. Didn't think about said. it. Take your time with this. No, 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 it's not spooky <laughs> to me. It's so gloomy out there that I think Where, that, that Seattle. He said, you want to get you want to get high in a gloomy no, place. It was, it, listen, I, I smoked some <laughs> bubble gum out there. It was beautiful. It okay, it was mm -hmm. the best, one of the best tastes of weeds I ever smoked. Okay, I was in Seattle. Mm. Right, but Seattle is a smorgasbord of people. Mm. It, it's kind of like New York, but weird, weirder. Mm. Just all types of weird people, like. Different shapes and bodies. <laughs> I'm sorry. Different shapes and bodies. <laughs> It's like, all right, look, I sometimes I sit around and I think about TV and cartoons. Silly. So I people watch. Yep. Yep. You understand? Yeah. So like I go to the mall and people watch and just like look at this man's, look at this man's body, look at this woman and think about characters. You really mean? No, no, that's, that's mean. How is that mean? <laughs> oh yeah, he's not he's not aware of what's going on in the world. He's like, still <laughs> he's thinking really in the 80s. No, but how is that mean? If you if <laughs> you going to people, you going to go pick on people at the mall and that's shit because they because they got right. oddities. That's not yeah. mean. If you look at Family Guy, if you look yeah. at uh, the Simpsons, mm -hmm. if you look at. All of these these cartoons. Crazy. You that nigga to be like, hey, look at that nigga right there. You <laughs> point right. niggas, regular niggas in the street. Hey, right. look at that nigga on, in the wheelchair. Man. That nigga. Stop it. You was one of them it. niggas. Stop it. Stop it. You's a bully. Characters. Okay. You said you's a bully. <laughs> right. Come on, like Tom and Jerry, right? Right, right. We never seen that lady. No. Nah. You never seen that lady's face or anything to do with her, but we always know that that lady is a black lady and she's swatting and beating. Mm. Chasing at the, the mouse and Tom, you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. It, it's just characters. Dig. Gotcha. You be you you high right now. That's you, funny, man. You high right <laughs> You are high right now, aren't you? What did you smoke before you came in? <laughs> before I came, I think it was. Said, I don't, lemon I don't even like I don't even like weed. <laughs> mm. No? Lemon Kush gelato. Lemon Kush gelato. 
That sound dope. Yeah. You making me hungry. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely making me hungry. Yeah, all this new. Like, this new age, Beetlejuice. But, you know, this this day and age is crazy. Think about it. Mm -hmm. um, so in our heyday, when Candy Rain was at the top of the charts, the world didn't accept that so for real. And I can't even say the world. Um, the industry executives didn't accept that. That we were cannabis friendly, like. You know, oh like, yeah, it was too early, right? Yeah. Yeah, you know and saying? then you were R and B singers too. Correct. Yeah. But I mean, R and B look a certain type of way. Right. Yeah. Yeah. However, quote unquote. In, in, yeah, not necessarily because you had uh, you know, the 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 Jodeces and the bad. Yeah, um, but the first time you you ever hear somebody talking about you know as an R and B singer weed on a um, I'm thinking. D'Angelo, chocolate tie. There you go. Yeah. Right, but guess what? Those records were still awesome records. And um, to see, my point was just to say, to see how openly accepted it is now is mm. almost like a slap in our face because we sit here and we look like, damn, we were shunned by the executives like, damn, and all the fuck we wanted to do was just smoke our joint. Yeah, but you now understand? Now, yeah, now it's like, oh, so it's not to be like, like, wow, yeah, this it, is, it's, yeah. you know, it's crazy because it's still, even though it wasn't legal back then, now you have all these different places where they're making it legal. We knew back then. Bruh, y'all need y'all on line, y'all on strand, a soul yeah, for real candy strand. Rain, candy rain strings. We oh, oh, really? We, yeah, not, we don't yeah. have it. We're working on it. We're, okay. Those are the things that we're doing right now. All That's the not, different ventures and the different things. I, that, I want that for you, Katie. <laughs> I want that I'm for you. Actually, that's funny. I'm actually the one that started the company. Dig, dig. That sounds like some shit you do. It's called Soul for Real 420. I like Coming it. Coming soon. I like it. I like it. That's going to happen. You're, you're going to be very successful at that shit. Yeah, mm -hmm. man. We, we have all types of stuff, man. I can't even get into it, but it, it's, it's going to be big. It's going to be lit. I can dig it. I can dig. Hey, let me get let me get a uh, Soul for Real, you know, wild groupie story, man. I know y'all got uh. some stuff. Some nutty shit that didn't happen to y'all. Mm. No one is I'm done. <laughs> I don't have any goofy stories. It's so for real, y'all. Y'all don't don't story. act married now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but, I mean, you was talking about sex symbol stuff earlier. Like, yeah. listen, man, I used to be catching panties left and right. Groupy stories, man. Nah, left and right, catching panties left and right. It's been a while. Like, not. Actually on the stage, but like what it, I'm talking about when you, you like your first it come out. It, listen, I have I have five kids, maybe six. All of them is like it was all a blur. One, two, three, four, five. They're all like in a, a row. Yes, in a row. So yeah. that just goes to show you right there what I, what Candy Rain and every little thing was doing. Oh, okay, got gotcha. you. Yeah, mm -hmm. I mean those things, you know, silly. especially when they think about it. Our kids, are, they're old enough now. It's almost. It's almost an embarrassment, especially because it's I like I'm not gonna say that. me. I'm saying it. That's why I let you talk. And then I said, it's almost like an embarrassment for me to tell you a story because I have daughters. You understand? I got mm -hmm. that. So, so, I understand so let that. me finish. As as I know, my daughters are at the age of when I was out there mm -hmm. doing my fuckery. It's mm -hmm. not healthy for me as a man. I, mm. That's why I said me, as her father, and as my son's fathers. You understand? I don't glorify my bullshit. I use the opportunity I, I don't the think, platform. I don't I, think that's, that's I, I use bullshit. A, I know, I, 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 I'm, I was just finishing. You got grown, I got Thank it. You. I got it. That's you all, got grown. All, all, all yeah. I was saying is you that- You got real right responsible. Now, kids. Right you got now, responsible. I use, the, I, yeah. I use these platforms and these opportunities so that when I do speak and I'm like, yo, um, yes, it's cool, my nigga. We could glorify that, but I'm gonna still segue and bring it back around to say that right now is a different time from back then, and I don't really want to. That's a fact, fact. Get pigeonholed into that. I could still use this same energy and tell people that you know the positive aspect of doing the right thing. Mm -hmm. You understand? Mm -hmm. And still have a laugh out of it, and still be, you know, like we could talk about all the. Fuck crazy shit that we was doing, but still make it to know that. Guess what? This is what you don't do. 
And what is it that you don't do? And listen, I have to, <laughs> you don't do you what we what was doing. Having <laughs> listen, you don't do what we was doing. Going out there having reckless, senseless, crazy sex, sex, drugs, rock and roll. That's what comes with the industry. You hear what he so just at said? the end of oh, the I day, I heard what he said. I can't wait till he finished. At the end of the day, that's what the, our message is not to you know. I'm like, yo, all right, look, that happened. Some of some of our children were a product of these things. You understand? So. How could I sit here and try to make light of this scenario? You know how I many? Look at look at the old dirty bastards and all these different people. No. Yeah, I got it. Can I get it? Can I get it? Yeah, there? you got it. All right. Boom. <laughs> you see what he, he just talking about? I agree with him. Totally. Hey man, I'm gonna give I, Brian a hug in a minute. <laughs> yeah, I agree with him totally. Yeah. But at the same time, I have a movie. It's called Driving Mr. Longstorm. Mm-mm. And what Mr. Longstorm is about is about what he was just talking about. Right. The fuckery. My dick is what got me in trouble. You understand? But in the United States, you can be held hostage and the right to drive can be taken away from you. But what driving Mr. Longstorm is about mm-hmm. is about everything that he was talking about. You don't go out there and have sex unprotected. Oh. You don't run around and glo- like you glo- we glorifying the groupie stories or whatever. Boom. What the groupie stories got me is I am Mr. Longstorm and I'm sitting in the back of my car and I don't have a license and I can't drive and I'm being held hostage in America because oh, you're talking I had sex. Child support? You're talking about child support? Just, yes, say, because just I fucking say that. And they took, but if you can't pay the child support, right? I and got you, it. Right? And yeah. you get in yeah. every time you go into something, something happens. Yeah. And yeah. you can't pay the child support. You try to go to work. You it's can't. Lo- it this, locks this, you and, in. And all types of stuff is happening. So Mr. Longstorm is a lo- it's a long storm that he's going through. Mm. But his dick is what got him in trouble by messing with different women and then got put him on child support. And that is a lesson for men. Mm. Bag up, my nigga. Or else you will be Mr. Longstorm. You won't be able to drive nowhere. Right. Your ass yeah. is gonna be locked up, and Mr. Longstorm gets locked up constantly. <laughs> hey, y- y- y'all like a scared straight program for groupish, uh, groupie I love. I mean, it's just that. that, nigga, that, 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 that nigga, that's just a part of my life. That's just a story of my life. What happened to me? Yeah. You understand? I, I got on the condom right now. Thank you. I don't, I don't trust the bitches in my daydreams. Thank you. Yeah, I know they after my disability right. check. I'm not, yeah, I'm, I'm with you on that, man. So it's, it's a, actually like a comedy, but it's a serious comedy. Yeah. You understand? No, no, that's dope because you don't hear the side. You don't hear the side. always like just mad as hell. Yeah. And then my driver, he jumps out the car, then I jump in the driver's seat, then I end up going to jail again, and then I'm beefing. It's just a real funny comedy, man. Yeah, it, About, it's a war with yourself. Yeah, exactly. yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. You you know you 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 the, the higher you is fighting with the lower you and shit yeah I got it I got I, I trust me Brian I felt you all the way on that you know what I'm saying like I said I I've even had a, 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 I was telling you about I was having a conversation with KC about the same thing and it ain't nothing that he liked to talk about either right. but you we know on the toss it up videos and whatnot and then with it Tupac happened. they they acted a fool it happened mm-hmm. and, uh, you know it was, dig it's, it's it's still part of it now. Dig, dig, you know what dig. I mean, it's not something that that's gone nowhere. Mm. With with this comes groupies, comes mm. stories. Mm. So what's real is what's real. What with your kids? They want to be in the, the um, entertainment business. What do y'all say to them? Well, Lil Puma and Big Puma. Shout out to Lil Puma and Big Puma. My kids are rappers. They dope. They dope as hell. And um, they just need a little bit of. You know, guidance, but you know, I, I'm, I'm kind of skeptical of it just because of the simple fact that what's going on in the industry with rappers, and like, I don't want to see anything happen to my boys, you know. And, and these rappers are targets and stuff, so I'm just like, you know what, guys, stay on your love making mu- music, you know what I mean? Just stick with the love making music and send a message in your songs. Don't get out here with this knucklehead shit and fall into bullshit, end up in jail over rapping. 
They, they ain't just rapping. A lot of them, it seems like they proving that they really live in these life, this life. They trying to prove that's, that they live this life, that's kind of and that's where it ends up, you know, or or imitating life, you know. Because when we were when we were coming up, you know, it, they they used, I think the term used to be called studio gangsters. People who would mm -hmm. rap about things, but then they really wasn't doing that. It was just more theater of the mind. Uh, but today, right. kids a lot more active. Yeah, that well, was the segue I'm, I'm, to where we at now, though. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. That what you talking about? That time frame and how we was putting our because really. If we didn't have the hip hop and how we was doing it, then they would have took it to the streets and it was positive. Mm. But then, of course, now we got a situation now where you're expressing yourself in the entertainment business. You're telling the truth, so really, that's that's that's, that's stupid. That's, that's stupid. You're in the entertainment business, entertain. It's not the I truth see telling business. I see what you just how did. How do we know that is the truth that they're telling? Well, no. Uh, let me let me let but me. What I'm saying is. Let me jump in Go as ahead, well, yeah, yeah. because I, I wanted to make a, a great point as far as this flip side to it. Um, it I don't necessarily feel like they're faking the funk or they're doing anything like, um, oh, we need to now do what we're doing in our raps. I think it's, it's following them. This, the lifestyle that they were, were living, and because the industry is saying, give me more content that's telling you, telling me to kill my brother and my sister and disrespect women. Yeah, honestly, because hip hop didn't start like that. Yeah. So we already know the executives, yeah, this shit could turn real political, and I'm real, real, yeah, real, real on shit. point with where this is at because yeah, these good. youth, this youth right now is. They're following the wrong agenda. Yeah, the rappers that are talking so, about so it ain't really you, living that. If you that really either. understand, you know so, it's yeah, just like right. I was looking at it. Right. I was looking at something from Poor Righteous Teacher. Where it's like we reflect on where hip hop used to have a positive message. So right now, we just have to really commission the the the, the, the puffies and the you know the. the the Jay Z's and the everybody who's up there and say, look, now we are in position enough to say, nah, enough, enough. They ain't finna do that. Guess why? Nobody's I know they're not gonna, they're not gonna listen, they're not gonna do that. You know why? Why wouldn't they do that? Because it ain't no money in that. There is money in it. There's money in whatever we sit here. When and you when you when you try to when you this was how, how kids do you. This is how kids do you these days. Mm -hmm. When you speak on um, hey, y'all need to chill out and da 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 and say, now you the old nigga and you hating on them Thank and you. they tell you, yo, yo, you had your time, nigga, just mm -hmm. get out of our way, let us Thank do you. our thing. Mm -hmm. They don't, the kids don't listen to nothing. So, and they, they, they when you, when you're trying to OG, they, mm -hmm. it's not you're a hater. Bro. Hold on, I'm going to show you the reason I beg to differ. <laughs> you, I'm going to use... For instance, a Kendrick Lamar. Okay. Right? And I, I, the reason I use him is on, in these different regions, even before you had the Andre 3000. I don't know who we have right now in comparison or who would represent a current Andre 3000. But those different people, they, gave, they still gave you positive mm -hmm. in the midst of the storm mm -hmm. that's going on. Mm -hmm. So right now, with that same talent, because it all is about talent and dollars. Mm -hmm. Right now, all it takes is someone to pioneer that movement. One of the Jay-Zs, the Puffies, and say, you know what? If we really, really care about us, we're going to really start trying to change the narrative. Okay, so and that's say, whole look, thing. No, of course, guess what? The same way it took time for us to get to where we at, it's going to take time to heal it. But that's like somebody stepping up and being the new Martin Luther King. No, it's not. They're scared of a bullet. So nigga. hold up. So hold they're scared on. of a bullet. Guess what? KRS One is still alive. Thank you. He is. Guess he what? is. What, the what most, does that mean? What, that, what you mean? I'm about to tell you what I mean. He's speaking. He's been speaking that positive thing, right? Correct. But no you one could actually it. tap into record records. Yeah, where, but the people that listen to KRS One is the people that came up on KRS One. Correct. Like, it, and, and, and how saying. many of us is that? What I'm, what I'm saying is, there, there's people that's still alive that's still 
that. That's still that. He's, the young, the kids that. don't know him. Yeah, and, and that's where the money is. And that's where the algorithms is. And that's where our phones come in. And no one cares about morals. No one cares about messages. No one like, cares about yeah, anything else this, except making money. There's young, right. so, there's young so what you do is look. Is, there's young versions So what you do is this. Pay attention but, to. But, but, but that's where, that's so where we got to kind of. Just like basketball. Well, hold on, watch right? this. Oh, hey, let me show you. Basketball, put the focus, right? Put the we focus running down on the court. Guess what? A pivot. It's called a pivot. I'm going to go now another way. If okay. we continue to go this way, we continue going down the road of destruction. But yeah, you have right. to. It, it only takes one person, yeah. and one is going to follow another. It Me, called that each can't one. Be scared of a it called though. each one teach one. So mm. at the end of the day. Someone can't say, if we all doing what y'all doing, mm. oh, well, nah, ain't nobody, guess what? Ain't nothing gonna get done and we gonna sit here 15 more, 30 more years looking like, oh my God. First what? off, you really are 6'6", six, six. but check this out. <laughs> <laughs> um, I was just um, watching Chris Brown. Chris Brown, right. he, did, he just did a media run with a, like, uh, uh, was, it, was it a, Drink Champs, Gilly, yes. and uh, Big Boy in the Neighborhood. Now, Chris Brown is, is a quote-unquote R&B singer, right? Correct. Pop star. Yeah, you pop star. Mm -hmm. Now, Chris Brown is the big... He's been, he's been compared on many different um, platforms, Michael Jackson. Biggest. One of the biggest stars of right. our time right now. Right. He is the biggest star of our time. Right. And, and so you know he he's a, he I, I would consider him to be an R and B singer. That's a, of course. This how I first came out, first saw him. He, half of his his uh his project or the majority of it is hip hop. Him rapping. Yes. So <laughs> it, he really didn't Talk do the numbers that he was expecting to do. Mm -hmm. and, oh, you mean on the the last wave? Yeah, on his last wave. Yeah, he he and sold seventy thousand. Huh. He still fired him. No, he still no. He definitely mm -hmm. is still fired. But he he felt like that people wasn't the um his core fan base didn't support him on that. Correct. Mm -hmm. They feel like they didn't, they didn't support him on that. But I I felt like it was because he's they not should've. being true. He to, stopped being Chris. He stopped they, being Chris. He stopped being they Chris Brown. They didn't we, they, listen, the they didn't want to hear Chris did. Brown rapping. They wanted to hear Chris Brown being Chris Brown. That's yeah, it. Chris I, mean, I want to hear Chris Brown be Chris Brown. I was about to say, Chris, Chris Brown is Chris Brown rapping. To me, Chris Brown up. is Chris Brown rapping. It's just Chris Brown chose to rap. No, oh, he's been yeah. rapping Listen since to the, he, he made the at that point. time. He made the it. point that he made. We can't change that. Yeah. That's, that's I'm not that's changing it. Clearly, what saying, he just like, said was Chris yeah. Brown, okay, so his, his, the numbers didn't lie, right? The numbers didn't lie. He switched up, and he didn't give them what he normally was giving them. It just shows you. Yeah. He's still Chris Brown. Yeah. So He's still the Chris GOAT Brown to me. Chris Brown hasn't been rapping since the beginning from, from his first album. But, but album. Absolutely but not. We know he yes. can do it, but that ain't what we coming to him for. Exactly. But right. still, why that's would he do a he... whole rapping album? But he's doing that because those are that's the people that he hangs around. And that's Who the things that, that's the, ask, that he's singing at work for other, other people. You know, the more active you are, the more you do, the more that you whatever you whatever you're really into, the more active you are, mm -hmm. th that's like the the, uh, the the more the kids respond to correct you know what i'm saying like even even on his last uh, his explanation for it was like all right i'm about to get it bracken now because i see y'all ain't y'all tripping i'm i'm he's i'm i'm pissed off i'm, I'm about to get, i'm about to get it bracken right of course i mean nobody no when chris brown comes out no one he's not a rapper so for him to do a move like that that's risky but at the same time he can do that. Chris Brown can do whatever the hell he, he wants to do. You can do whatever you want to do, but then, hey, the people want what they want. Thank you. You and can. Look, That's what gonna, I was getting he, at. What did you just say? He said he's going to get a bracket. He's going to turn right back around. And go give them what they want. No, that's not what he. No. That's not what no. He, no. <laughs> he finna go full throttle with rapping and oh, taking it to the oh, streets no. and no. Yeah, that's what he's no saying. He, he on tour with little baby now. Get out of here. Yeah. No. That's no. Yeah, you about to get it bracking, <laughs> baby. Here, man. No, but I think you know it's 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 evolution. You know what I mean? Regardless, it's of what, evolution. You know, and even though, you know, I always say that. Um, who who did it? Tyrese did it. Tyrese. People didn't want to see they black tie. They didn't want to fucking see t black no, tie, man. Be Tyrese, don't be black tie. Yeah, I mean, and, and as great as he might have felt, and people was feeling, guess yeah, what? Your fan and base. He was dope. Thank you. Your fan it base don't want to hear it. Yeah, they don't. Not when they not when they already know you for 
the Coca-Cola boy and Tyrese. Did y'all ever do that? Did y'all ever try to slip some rap in? I'm a rapper. Absolutely. I've been rapping all my life. I've been told to stop rapping when I came, when I, when I became so familiar. Heaven said to me, you don't do that. Let me do that. And suppressed what I do. How, how did that make you feel? It just made me feel He just like, said it. He said, and suppressed what I do. Mm. Yeah, and it, he it just, just said how he like, made him okay, feel. Well, shit, Suppress. What is it? You got to, I don't know what that shit means. <laughs> <laughs> you got to help me out. told me, yo, pump your brakes, bro. So for real is not going to rap. I am the rapper. Okay. And I'm going to rap on mm. y'all stuff. And I, it made me feel, like, hey, goddamn, what the fuck? Why you, nigga? Uh, all right, fuck it. Hey, shit, let's go. Let's mm. keep it moving. I'm not the one that's going to be a problem. Mm. I'm a team player. Let's go. Let's keep it moving. Dig, dig. But guess what? I always do this, no matter what. It's mm. not something that I can help. Right. It's just like songs. Dig, dig. Did you have a rap name for KD. yourself? Huh? KD. KD. Dig, dig. King Dre. King Dre. Yeah. Got it. Got it. Got it. Got it. Got it. Hey, man, listen. I know y'all got some more famous shit to do. Y'all about to head to the studio and jump on this new project. Yeah, this is the first fact. of many times I'm going to have y'all on my, on, on my show and whatnot. I can't wait to see you again. That's I've learned so much. I mean, I hope you had just as much as fun as I did. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, is sure. there anything that y'all want to say to New Jack Thriller City, man, before we get up out of here? New Jack Thriller City, you already know. So for real, we here. Stay tuned. Got a lot of great things in store for y'all. You know? Yep, singles coming. Movie coming project, soon, called project, The Truth. Projects coming. Yeah. Other than we that, y'all. Jack Triller, baby. You know dig, it dig. Like I always say, you just can't say you really something you gotta be, man. Yo, check this out. Make sure you subscribe right now on YouTube to New Jack Thriller City. I'm gonna see y'all next time. Do I have something in my eye? Y'all go to commercials. Don't kiss them hoes in the mouth unless you got to. <laughs> <laughs>